Hello YouTube. So welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about put call parity. So we've just done a couple of videos, one on covered calls and one on protective puts. And we pointed out that when you trade one option and you trade the underlying alongside it, either long or short, you end up with a payoff that is the same as another option. And we think that's kind of an interesting thing. And the big question then is, is there a formula that, that ties these things together? And of course there is, and that formula is put-call parity. So the put-call parity formula um, ties together options, uh, calls and puts, as long as they have the same underlying, the same strike price, and the same expiration. So we can't tie together uh, other types of options. Also, it requires that they be European options, not American options. So, um, from the very beginning, uh, in fact, when, when options were first listed, uh, there were actually just call options listed rather than calls and puts. And this is because it was well known, the concept of put call parity, and therefore you could get the payoff of a put or the payoff of a call by just trading a call option. So if you wanted the payoff of a put, you just had to combine a position in the underlying with that call option. So up here on screen right now is our formula for put call option. And the, the formula is put plus spot equals call plus the present value of the strike. That's what our last bit, k to the ERT. It's just present value of the strike. So when we combine our options with the underlying, we get the payoff of a different option. Um, and it must follow this uh, this formula. And the reason it has to follow, like it's not just a theoretical thing that doesn't have to happen. It actually does have to happen because if there were two portfolios that had the exact same payoff, um, so no matter what happened in the market, if you ended up at expiration with the exact same amount of money, it would be an arbitrage opportunity um, if, if they didn't trade at the same price today. And so there's lots of traders out there that will be looking for, uh, for, for puts and calls that are mispriced relative to each other and trading them against each other. And for that reason, you know, the buying and selling pressure mean that these things do, they have to and they do stay in line with each other. So, um, yeah, so our formula is, as I said, put plus spot equals call plus present value of the strike. And obviously then we can just play around with that formula. We're able to, uh, if, if we know some of the details, but not all of them. So if we know the prices of the puts and calls, the strike price and the expiration, we're a and of course the interest rate, we're, we're able to back out the price of the underlying. Or if we know the price of one of the options, we can back out the price of the other option and so on, or, or even the interest rate. Um, so that is the put call parity formula. With a little algebra, we can turn it into an array of different formulas that give us the same information. And, and that's really it, you know, that's put call parity. So let's just walk through a quick example of that. So we'll say if we have an underlying that's trading at 31, and then there's put and call options uh, available with a strike of 30. So bo both the put option has a strike of 30 and the call does. Uh, our interest rate is 10%, and there is a three-month call option available. It's trading at $3. The put option is trading at $2.25. And we just ask ourselves, is there an arbitrage opportunity? So in order to answer that question, all we have to do is pump all of our uh, numbers into the formula. So we basically look at each side of the equal sign and call that a different portfolio, and they, they just have to be equal to each other. So portfolio B, we're calling P plus S0, so the put plus the spot price. So that's 225 plus 31, and that gives us $33.25. And then portfolio A is the call option plus the present value of the strike. So the, the call option is trading at $3. The strike is 30. So we present value that, uh, add them together, and we come to $32.26. So as you can see, $33.25 is not the same as $32.26. So there is an arbitrage opportunity. So in order to take advantage of that arbitrage, you just buy the cheap one and sell the expensive one. So we're going to sell portfolio B, 
by portfolio A and we would make an arbitrage profit of 99 cents. Hopefully you found that useful. Um, if you're interested in uh, studying along with the book, I'm using uh, Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives, which is a book that my partner and I wrote, and all of these examples are worked out in the book. Anyhow, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, the next videos up are going to be on combinations, so we'll be looking at straddles, strangles, um, spreads, and uh, butterfly spreads, all those sorts of things. Uh, so if you, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And, um, and if you like this video, if you found it useful, hit the like button. Have a great day. Bye.